Okay, so this is a flower potter that I uh, carved the other day. Western red cedar. Um, I'm happy with the way this turned out. Some depth carved into the sides there. I used my chainsaw to carve this one and I stained it with sea tall. Oh, there's a little brush thing on there. So after I did this one, I did another one. And this one I made the video for. Um, I put a stick in here, well a tree. Super sole, it's bolted in there. I put a tree in there, an owl on a branch, and carved this flower pot. These flower pots are a lot more work than they look because, well, you gotta hollow it out. Okay, and then you gotta clean the outside of the wood, then you can carve. But for this video, I'm gonna show you. I'm not happy with that. Uh, this video was in a member, I made it members for a couple days and I asked them their opinion on these swirls. So this one here, I did chainsaw, you can see the depth in it. This one I just used a die grinder and um, the die grinder David Grass sent me. Hi Grass, hi everybody else. Um, and I didn't carve it very deep. So like I said, this has been sea told So what I'm gonna do now is pull, take this into the shop, uh, pull out my chainsaw and recarve this pot. Okay? Birds have been shitting on this piece. Look, look at all the bird shit in here. Look at the bird shit here. Bird shit won't kill you. Bird shit, bird shit. Yeah, don't put your carving underneath trees if you don't want bird shit on it. Okay, so I think to myself, how do I want to get this uh, CTOL off? Well, you can see here it's not too thick on there, but it is sticky. So I don't think I want to use my sand, my die gr my uh, grinder with the sander on it because it will just gum it up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not, like I could get my chainsaw and carve all this off, just scrape it. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is just carve deeper all the way through, and then when I say if I carve this chunk right out, like like that, this whole color will be gone. Uh, we'll start with that. See how that goes. Mic check, mic check. Okay, so you can see I got my dust mask on there because you don't want to be breathing in this, uh, this, this sawdust when you got the chemicals on it here, <clears throat> the CTOL. So, hmm, um, I should have really got a bigger saw and just skinned all the stuff off first. It made it a lot longer doing it the way I'm doing. Like I say, for cottonwood bark or smaller Dremel carvings, it's always easier to like, pretend this is bark and I'm taking the, it's always easier to take the bark off first or the, the shitty wood off first than do your carving. So, but whatever. Um, I could have left this the way it was. I, I really don't care, but I thought, you know, I could do better. So that's, I know I, I, I set this video private for uh, the members of Carving Fusion. So they could give me their input if I should recarve it deeper. And they, well, lots of them said, yeah. So I said, well, you know what? I might as well recarve it. Something to do. Um, some of you have been th wondering about the wishing well because I entered it in a sculpture competition. And I got an email yesterday saying that it didn't make it to the, it didn't make it into the competition. So I got that email when I was doing the flower pot or carving. So I was kind of in a shitty mood for about an hour. But, you know, the bottom line is, if I didn't enter that into the competition, I wouldn't set myself up for a disappointment. So, I kind of, it was an oceanfront competition. So, the sculptures are going to be on an oceanfront pier thing. And I knew it wasn't really suited for oceanfront because, it's like, if I was going to really carve it for the competition to try and win... I would have carved fish on it and a whale on it and, you know, like a coral seed and stuff like that. But I uh, had already started carving the wishing well before I entered it into the challenge, into the competition. So when I was pissed off that I didn't make it in there because I tried harder once I entered it into the competition. But then I realized, I says, who cares? I set myself up for disappointment, so it's not a big deal. And another thing, too, that the day before I found out that the wishing well didn't make it into the challenge 
uh, my I blew up my two two hundred one. One of my favorite saws. That's like a nine hundred thousand dollar saw. But you know, I got that saw when I first started chainsaw carving. So and you know, I really didn't. I'm still learning about saws and stuff like that. But um, I was pretty. I've been pretty rough on that saw. So it's it's lived a good life. But there goes one of my favorite saws gone. Another thousand dollars thousand dollars out of the uh, pocket but i'm not going to buy another one i think i'm just going to buy a use my 170 for uh, detailing saw <clears throat> i got other saws too so and then another thing too my phone screwed up the because all you guys know that i film with my phone and uh, i got water inside of it when i was making my uh, pond my uh, fountain thing so my phone i got water inside my phone so now i've been having to film with my uh, older phone and I had to reset all my passwords and everything. So you gotta you gotta deal with the challenges that life gives you, right? You can't, you know, you gotta go with the highs and lows. Right now it's kind of low for me, but that's okay because highs are coming, right? You know, and just think of that with your wood carvings too, or any type of art or anything you do. Here's a little butane torch I thought I'd try using here. I use this for my Dremel carving, but it this cedar was a little bit damp, so it didn't really burn too quick. So I switched over to the bigger uh, <coughs> torch. The turbo torch i show it but so yeah i've been not hit hard hey you got to be happy that you're above grass and you're breathing you know could be a lot worse so that's i just i just could carry it on don't care it is what it is they i've been i've been dealt a lot worse deck of cards i've been dealt a, uh, jesus jordy i've been dealt the worst hand out of a deck of cards here's a turbo torch that i love this thing blows the hottest air so you got to keep moving on. So that's probably why I didn't carve the flower pot that nice yesterday because I was a little bit frustrated. So today is a different day and uh, carve it better. Carry on. Get through your challenges. You know, just like this. You guys, so another thing I was thinking too when I was carving this, it's your art project and it's never done till it's done. So yeah, I had a finish on this piece. I spent about an hour carving it with my die grinder yesterday. And I redid it today. Why did I redo it? Because it wasn't done till I thought it was done. Does that make sense? So you guys, just once, you, if you think you're done with it, not if you don't like a carving. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking right now. If you think you're done with it, if you don't like your carving, put it aside. Put it aside. Forget about it. And when you're having a good day, grab it and make it better. It's as simple as that, right? Then have fun. Challenge yourself. And no, even if you're one of those grandmaster artists, they still struggle with something mentally too. They'll never admit it, but everybody struggles with something. Anyways, this has been uh, voiceover by Carving Fusion, Jordy Johnson. Enjoy the video, and I hope you're all doing very great. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, so you can see how much more depth is carved into this pot now. Now, since I put CTOL on this part in the owl, um, I'm going to put, this is super old, nice cedar. So I'm going to put uh, spar earthane on it to get the color really to pop. But I'll just give you guys a full 360. It's a lot of work, but as long as you're having fun, who cares, right? I also scuffed up the owl with the orbit sander to get some different colors in there and I repainted the eyes. The white part on the eyes so it wasn't so yellow. Okay, so I'm going to pull this outside, put some spar urethane on it. I really should let it uh, dry a bit, but that's okay. Well, it's not okay, but it's okay. Okay, this is the Hellsman spar urethane. Um, Put it on. Nice color popping in there. 
Okay, so that's it for this one. Sorry I'm not gonna be able to finish it off with the grand finale with some dirt in there and some flowers in here because I need to let this dry for a good few days. Um, this stuff, this uh, spire earthing was starting to bubble because the sun was too hot. And also it was bubbling because the wood was pushing out gases. So if, if your finish starts to bubble, just get your paintbrush and just dab the bubbles. They'll slowly go away and just keep an eye on it. And then eventually they'll all be gone. So just remember that. So let's get a full 360 of this, a full view. Like I said, I'm probably gonna put this out front of my house. Um, I put some spire urethane over top of the, uh, oh, it's too hot, I can't even think, over top of the um, CETOL. Some depth. A lot better than it was before. Not the greatest thing I've ever done, but not the worst. I will make a video showing this while shorting one of my videos um, outside my house. That's if, if that's if I don't sell it. Who knows? Somebody might want to buy it. I haven't posted anything for sale lately, so that's it. Hope you guys are all good. Keep uh, creating, keep your imagination wild, and uh, have fun. Carving any art is just an experiment. If you're not experimenting, well, you're not learning. Oh yeah, I also carved this guy really quick in here. Just for the fun of it. One more thing too, I'm not done yet. Might be a little bit noisy because the farmers are there digging up some dirt over there with the track excavator. But I put another coat on this uh, owl. Hello. So that will have two coats of CETOL on it. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, that's it. Time to go home. Have a hot bath. I mean, cold shower. See ya.